Hello friends, this is Pavan Kumar, Deputy SP selected through UPPCS 2018. I obtained rank 65 in that exam. I welcome you all to this series of lectures on agricultural option for civil services and forest services. Friends, in this particular lecture, we will see weed management and we will cover some important topics from that unit in this lecture. Friends, when it comes to UPSC, syllabus is one of the most important things. Why? Because UPSC always sticks to the syllabus which it has given. You pick any of the UPSC question papers and you will find that UPSC always ask questions from within the boundaries of the syllabus which it has defined. And this is a consistent thing across all the exams which UPSC takes. Okay, friends. So here's the syllabus. You can read it yourself, which UPSC has provided for the unit weed management in its syllabus. Okay. And in this particular part of weed management, we will be covering these topics. Okay. Let me read this for you. Weed definition and some prominent examples of weeds we'll see and characteristics of weeds and finally we will see one of the most important topics that is crop weed competition friends believe me this topic is repeated every alternate year in the agriculture paper one what is the importance of weed management in upsc friends in this series we have prioritized the list of topics for you, even the subtopics for you. Okay. So we'll be going priority wise, but as far as the total weed management unit is concerned, it's a very small topic. And you will see that every year, you know, consistently UPSC is asking 30 to 40 marks worth of questions from weed management. You will every year see two to four questions being asked from this unit unlike other units where upsc one year will ask three four questions and the other year it may not ask any question or may just ask one question from this particular unit so weed management is consistent so if you have covered this you can be sure that yes i will be scoring 30 to 40 marks in paper one so let's start friends First, before starting anything, let's see what's a weed, okay? A weed is a plant growing where it's not wanted or simply an unwanted plant is called weed. Here I've given some crops and their associated weeds. So this is Phalaris minor, which is one of the most notorious weeds of wheat. It is popularly in local dialect called Gehuka Mama in the Northern world because it's look is quite similar to that of wheat plant. The other one is Cynodon dectylon. It's a weed for a number of crops and it's also called Bermuda grass. And in popular language uh, in our homes, it is called the Doob grass. Then we have Amaranthus, which is a weed of maize crop. You must have seen this in most, especially in Northern areas in the fields. Now let's see what are the characteristics of weeds. You know, if some plant has these characteristics and it's an unwanted plant, then we can call it a weed. So first characteristic is seed production. Weeds produced large number of seeds compared to crops, which are of small size. For example, here I have given barnyard grass Friends, just one plant of this, this grass produces 7,160 seeds. And you will be surprised to know the weight of thousand such seeds is just 1.4 grams. Can you believe this? Then the next characteristic is their persistence. You know, the weeds are highly persistent, friends. They can evade the environment again and again, even if you remove they have some inherent characteristics such as 
dormancy prolific seed production because of which they remain in that environment and harm the crop continuously the next characteristics of weeds is their hardiness the weeds have got some inherent mechanism because of which they have this capability to survive even in the adverse natural conditions next weeds show dormancy friends what is dormancy and what are the factors to overcome dormancy what are the pros and cause of dormancy this we will be covering in our lecture in plant physiology in detail but for the time being you just remember that dormancy is a condition in which a seed fail to germinate even in favorable environment conditions okay so seeds of wheat plants have this capability to remain dormant which helps them to evade roging by man when removing weeds from the crop field you know the seed of weed will lie dormant and when you know in uh, what is roging roging is simply you are you will go in the field you will observe if a weed plant is growing by physical observation and you will simply with your hand will remove it okay but the weed seed remain dormant it won't grow so you won't be able to see the weed growing and you won't be able to remove it at that time next is vegetative reproduction so not just by seeds weeds can even grow by vegetative means such as tuber rhizome etc weeds also have self regeneration property so for example if you have to grow a crop you will first prepare seed bed then you will sow seeds and then the crop will grow but unlike this weeds can weeds are self sown and they can grow by themselves you don't have to they don't need a prepared seed bed for that weeds evasiveness is another property of weeds okay because of which they can evade destruction by animal and man so they have some properties such as the bitter taste mimicry etc which helps them in their evasiveness weeds also have c4 type of photosynthesis which confers them advantage during moisture stress okay friends so we have till now we have covered what are weeds and their characteristics we have also seen some prominent example of weeds now let's come to our next topic which as i have already mentioned is one of the most important topics in the unit of weed management that is the crop weed competition so what is crop weed competition crop weed competition is weed and crop competing for certain factors what are those factors those factors are light nutrients water space co2 for few factors such as light co2 the competition is above the ground but for few factors such as water nutrients the competition is below ground you can see here's a wheat plant here's a crop crop plant and these are the factors for which they are competing now let's see what's the extent to which the weed competes with the crop and what harms it can have on the crop because of this competition so first let's see competition for nutrients here we have given a comparison of a crop maize and its associated weed amaranthus and we can see the amount of nutrient which the weed takes and thus depletes the crop of essential nutrients for example in case of amaranthus we see it is absorbing almost twice the nutrients which the maize plant is taking thus you can yourself have an idea of the amount of deficiency of nutrients amaranthus can cause if they have highly invaded the environment in the maize crop is grown water as far as water uptake is concerned we have a concept called transpiration ratio 
which is the amount of water utilized to produce one unit of dry matter. So what we have observed is that weeds such as cynodon dactylon have very high transpiration ratio. For example, cynodon dactylon has transpiration ratio of 813, whereas the associated crop of pearl millet has just 450 as transpiration ratio. So you can see how much water a weed can waste. Light is another factor for which the wheat competes with the crop. Weeds, they grow fast and what they do is they shade the undergrowing crops because of which the light falling on them reduces. So here we have given an example that due to interference of tall plants of sorghum helpense, the light intensity reaching maize leaves may only be 56 to 57 percent, so almost half in the sunny weather. Weeds also compete with the associated crops for CO2 because we have already seen that weeds are C4 plants, so they have the ability to reduce CO2 to a very low level. Weeds also have allelopathic effect. For example, extracts from rhizomes of Ambrosa reduce germination and seedling growth of several crops. Friends, now let's see what are the factors which affect crop weed competition. So the first factor is nature of crop. Friends, there are few crops such as sorghum, maize, barley, which have high competitive ability. Okay. These crops, they grow fast and they will cover the ground faster because of which what happens is the weeds are not able to compete with the crop for a long time and hence the period of crop weed competition is reduced. Next, the variety. Friends, the variety of a particular crop also extend the intensity of crop weed competition. For example, if we take the traditional tall growing varieties, they have profuse tillering and high growth rate. So they again, just like the crops we have seen, they will cover the ground quickly and will provide less time and space for weeds to grow. Growing condition is another factor which affects crop weed competition. For example, if we have grown rice in flooded fields uh, under puddled soil, then what happens is the weeds don't grow there. Crop density is another factor which affects the crop weed competition, you know, if the ground is covered by crop itself, there's high competition among the crop plants for the available nutrients. This automatically reduces the number of weeds and their ability to extract nutrients from the soil. Then we have management practices, you know, few management practices such as band placement of fertilizer around the crop or use of micro irrigation can automatically reduce the amount of nutrients or growth factors such as water which are available to weeds. Thus, this can reduce crop weed competition. Friends, now let's see some previous year questions from weed management and see the questions which were asked on the topic which we have just covered. So for example, in 2020, the question asked was, was define crop weed competition, describe various factors affecting crop weed competitions. Okay. So this was a 20 marker having three parts. So you can see you could have easily scored 15 marks in your 2020 mains just from these 15 minutes of slides. In 2017, again, they had asked describe crop weed competition. Again, this was a 20 marker having two parts. So you could have easily scored 10 marks from here. So friends, you see, just from this 15 minutes of slides, 
you could have easily scored 10 to 15 marks. So friends, stay tuned with us for more important lectures. And you will see just in this three hours of lectures on weed management, you will be easily able to score 30 to 40 marks in your exam. Friends, you will be surprised that people spend months to gain these 30 to 40 marks edge in civil services. And here in just three hours, we are giving you 40 marks. So friends, stay tuned with us and spread the word. Thank you and all the best for your exams.